um, I'm going to use the same. Actually, we could talk about this now. Um, instead of having separate cabs that we could use, the Brainworks plugin um, kind of gives us the whole package. So we can choose our head, essentially, and then we look at um, just basically basic uh, three, essentially three basic cab configurations, each with a different mic. So um, you have your green 412 and then different um, condenser. Yeah, so it's a green back, essentially a 412 green back cab with a condenser 563 and then it has different variations of it then there's a green back with a dot with a with like a 57 <clears throat> then you have a uh, black orange which i believe is an orangey and this dzl i'm not entirely sure what the black or dzl are i'm assuming the black would be like a marshall kind of cab deal and dzl if anyone has any clue what these are let me know all i know is that it does have a kind of a royer ish thing on it these actually sound pretty thin so if we were to switch this up um let's start with clean um i'm gonna just gonna go through each of these so i'm gonna skip the a b's i'm just gonna go for the a's so, so let's listen to the green uh, so the clean 530 through the greens right now i am on my lead setting on my guitar so that is the bridge humbucker i'm gonna go to the neck humbucker Okay, let's go ahead and move that over to the dynamic. And the reason I'm checking these in clean is because we can see the subtle nuances instead of having something really, really driven where everything just kind of gets washed up in a distortion. So um, the clean is, I feel, the best way to listen to these cabs. Um, so there's definitely a difference between these condenser versions and the dynamic. Um, the dynamic feels a little thinner. The condenser feels a little more full. So let's go back to the condenser real quick. everything live so that's why it kind of takes me a second to jump from one thing to another let's listen to the blackface good old g chord um listen to the dynamic on the black maybe we can hear something different So definitely, um, you could definitely hear the difference between the condenser and the dynamic microphone. Um, <clears throat> I dare to say it's not terribly different between green and black to my ears. Let's, let's listen to orange condenser. Listening condensers back to back. Oh wow! Yeah, there's a big difference between orange. I feels a lot smoother. Let's go to green. Go back to orange. So definitely a nice, um, smoother. I I kind of dig that orange. Um, let's go to orange dynamic. So that's that sounds nice. Um, these ribbons are super thin, so let's give those a listen. Decent. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan. Um, when I think ribbon, I think something a little darker. Um, 
something a lot more filling. These just seem way too thin to be accurately representing what a ribbon does. Not saying it sounds bad, but if, but if you're expecting it to sound like a ribbon or what I think a ribbon should sound like, um, it's not really doing it that well. So um, kind of thumbs down for that one. But on the whole, this is a pretty sweet amp. Um, we just listened to clean. I'm going to choose the green <coughs> A and uh, condenser, and we're gonna just going to kind of fly through these last, these other... So we're going to go through the clean 800 oh, volume. <laughs> oh, decent clean. I'm going to switch to the split coil now. Um, neck position. So it's not as distracting, kind of dry signal. So I'm actually going to turn the guitar volume down so we get a little more out of it. Decent sounding a little th a little thicker. A different flavor of clean, definitely a little darker, the clean 800 than the clean 530. If we're going to crunch 800, grab a pick for this one. Definitely hear it wind to break up. <laughs> could tell that we did lose some controls on the face of the amp um, we lost some controls so if we go to the clean we have the bright and a crunch um, again we could engage those disengage those the 800 we lose those two but I believe was that presence in there yep same thing was the crunch we lose them but we do have a gain here so I'm gonna play, play this with my fingers I'm going to go to the humbucker, uh, bridge. It's, a, it's, an, it's an even breakup, which is what I like about these amps. They really got the breakup right, and um, dynamically, these amps work really well. When I mean by dynamics, like, like the harder you play, the better they react. It's easier done with a pick. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start softly. You can hear the gates kicking in, but ignore that. So... The breakup isn't happening, boom, full on all the time. It's actually coming on gradually, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and skip over to the modern rock. This should be a little more driven. You could definitely tell that one's a lot brighter, a lot nicer. Um, break up, not as harsh as what we're as when we get to lead, but in terms of up top, it breaks up real nice when we chug. Yep, pretty nice um, rhythm breakup tone. Again, this is my bridge pick up really nice and bright clangy kind of um, if we were to go to a single coil um, I could do that again oh you could definitely hear that
gate is obnoxious. Um, it is clicking on and off and is super annoying. But again, you could disengage that, put on your own gate with a lot smoother of a of an attack, and you could get that to sound a lot better. Um, what I did here is if we were to listen again. <laughs> You still get some of that glassiness in your single coil pickup, which is really nice. And then the lead is what we heard all through the beginning of the video, so you can go back and listen to that. But um, I appreciate you watching. Um, hope you guys enjoy the next set of videos. And, uh, yep, go out there and get this plug-in if you like it. Leave some comments and follow us, like us, do everything. Thanks again. This is Josh. See ya.